and return to the engagement. Hello and welcome back for another video about the weapon in Battlefield 2022 and today we are looking at the last SMG. Check out my channel if you want to see the best setup or just know more about the other SMGs in Battlefield 2042. But this one is all about the PP-29. I'll go through the PP in real life compared to Battlefield 2042 and go through the best setup and why you should or shouldn't do as I do. Just a gentle reminder to throw in a thumbs up if you find this video useful at all. And also make sure to subscribe to get future videos like it. The PP has appeared twice earlier in the Battlefield franchise, already in Battlefield 2 and then again in Battlefield 3. It's based on the PP-19 Bison produced by some Russian company that I can't pronounce, which now is part of the Kalashnikov concern. It's a SMG created at request of the Russian Ministry of Internal Affairs to be used by counter-terrorist and law enforcement units. The idea is fast and accurate fire at close range and, well, it's a typical SMG, isn't it? After some initial testing, the Bison was accepted into service in 1996, where it was used by the FSB and the Ministry of Justice in Russia. Later, it was used by the military in Chechnya and yeah, some other places. The Bison is nowadays mostly replaced by the VTH in Russian service, which is another SMG developed directly from the Bison, but a little bit more reliable and also with a more standardized magazine. Worth noting is the high ammo capacity of the Bison, which we also can see in Battlefield with the PP, and also that it shares 60% of the parts with the AK-74. In real life, it can fire 650 to 700 rounds per minute, depending on ammo type and configuration. While the magazine easily can be mistaken for a nade launcher, it's a technical feature to allow it to be more compact and concealable. I'm not going to go into the gritty details of all the materials and all that other nerdy stuff, but this is a feature that the VTS has abandoned, which makes it look more normal. The PP in Battlefield 2042 is probably the SMG that shares most features with its real-life model, such as fire rate and ammo capacity. In Battlefield, it also reloads quite fast, given the high capacity, which makes it a rather prolific weapon from that aspect. It's almost like a hybrid of the more common SMG and an LMG. Fairly high rate of fire, not a lot of recoil, yet very large max. It's the SMG in 2042 with the lowest rate of fire. It is actually more on par with some of the assault rifles, but the damage output is higher than all the other SMGs. Combine the high damage output with the fastest reloads and the large mag from the start, you actually have a really capable weapon. Probably much better than most players think. As with so many other full order weapons, the tactical compensator is the way to go. Improved weapon accuracy while the penalty of recoil is nigh impossible to even notice. I prefer to combine it with Fusion Hollow for as good visibility as possible. Also, this isn't really the weapon you want to use at distance, so more zoom doesn't really give any benefits. When looking at the ammo type, I actually used to use the high power before, but now I have reverted back to the normal ammo rounds. This might sound a bit strange, but I found the behavior more relaxed to handle, which I mean, it's just a little bit less recoil. While the damage output decreased a bit, it was much easier to pop heads, so a win in my opinion. Because of the very unique mag, there are no options for handle or underbarrel. The PP ended up being a much more efficient weapon than I thought. I know there was a brief PP meta in the beginning of the Battlefield 2042 era, but that only lasted for a very short time. Since then, the K30 and the MP9 have been totally dominating among users. I still think they are the better choice for really close combat, but the PP isn't far behind. Given a large ammo capacity, which can sustain fire for really long periods of time, it's actually really efficient against many enemies. Just make sure to not make compulsory reloads when not needed. 
on that word of wisdom it's time to end this rather short video actually yeah i don't know maybe you like it better when it's about 10 minutes let me know in the comments below cheers